Hello again, um, this is another video tutorial for the CTrader trading platform and the tutorial today is to do with watch lists. So this is part two of the videos and what we're going to do today is show you how to use watch lists with CTrader. So what a watch list is, it's, a, an, it's an ability for you to actually access the symbols that you want to trade with quickly without having to scroll through all of the symbols that are shown on the all symbols list. So if, you're, if your broker has hundreds of symbols, you don't really want to be trying to find the one that you want. So what they've done is created a thing called watch lists. And in watch lists, you can not only trade from here, but you can also um, add or remove symbols that you want to use. So I'm going to go through all the different features. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is the popular markets at the top. Okay, so popular markets, you cannot edit. Um, this is just the popular markets that they're showing. So I'm not gonna actually look at that one right now. I'm gonna look at the watch list themselves. So you've got my watch list. So they've put that in there as default. You can right click on it and you can rename it. So I'm gonna call it, um, um, I don't know, Forex. Okay, and it's called Forex. So you could have your Forex symbols that you're trading in here. And because I want to remove a few of these symbols, I don't want them anymore. I just right click on the one and I go remove from this watch list. And I'm going to do that for all the ones I don't want that aren't Forex. OK, now I want to add a few more Forex symbols into this. I just go to all symbols. I find the, the one I want to use and I can click on the star here to add it to watch list. Or I can right click and go add to watch list and choose the watch list that I've just created Forex. So I want to add that one and I want to, for example, add this one and I'll add one more. Now, if I go back to my watch list, you can see it's added all the Forex symbols on there. I'm going to create another one now and I'm going to call it um, cryptocurrency or just say crypto. OK, now what I want to do is add a few cryptocurrencies in there. So if I go to all symbols, then I can minimize these tabs find the cryptos and again I can either click on the star I'll do that this time I've got a Bitcoin which is BTC USD crypto it's actually probably quicker doing it this way right click add to watch list crypto okay go back to watch lists now I've got my two watch lists one for Forex one for cryptocurrencies so if I was to trade with CTrader um, and I only want to trade these particular currencies we've now grouped them in such a way that I can access the information very quickly and it's showing me the daily change okay you know, as a percent um, it's also showing me the bid price and the ask price. Now from here, there's a lot of things you can do. First of all, you can reorder these. You can drag them around to reorder them, okay? You can also detach the whole of, of this watch list. It creates like a web uh, window that you can put somewhere. The disadvantage of this is if you click your mouse away, it disappears. It is actually a web pop-up. I'm just closing it. Um, the other thing you can do is click on the symbol that you want to trade, for example, EuroGBP. Then it opens up a little trade panel. From this trade panel, it's showing you the market sentiment down here. Most sellers uh, are looking at buy. 87% 80, of clients with open positions in this symbol expected the price to rise. So according to this, the market sentiment says you want to buy on this area. So what you can do also from here, you can right click and you can create a new chart because we don't have one on there. Now there's the new chart for the Euro GBP. I'm going to change the template to something a bit nicer. OK, so you've got your GBP now from here, we can do a few things. So first of all, we can create a sell limit by just selecting the price here. And it's just opened up a, a sell limit order. OK, and at the bottom here, you can see it's got a sell limit order. Um, you can also do the buy limit order, which is the same. It's opened up a buy limit order. So this is for fast trading. So this they've, they've created it in such a way that you can actually create orders very quickly. Um, with a few clicks of the mouse. Then you've got straightforward market orders and you can change the lot size just by clicking on there. Again, if you hover your mouse, it gives you a lot more information about your uh, account size and um, the trade that you're trading. So I can just click buy, sorry, sell. So open up a sell position and it's opened up a buy position. So you've got two more market orders open and two um, pending orders open. Now, if you look at on the screen here, if I just click that to get rid of it, and if I click it again, it should minimize it. One more time. You can see it's got a little two there. It's a feature of the new C Trader platform. Now that tells you there's two positions open. So again, when you're trading, you can look at your watch list and it will tell you how many positions are open in per symbol. And again, you can detach the chart, put it on the screen. Maybe I would put it on a, if you've got a multi 
um, screen set up. I would put it somewhere in the corner so you can see it. Okay, so that's your GBP. Um, again, I've just showed you how to do sell limit orders. Sorry, sell limit and buy limit plus market orders and to change the lot size. They're pretty straightforward. Now, oh, my mouse is a bit low. Sorry about that. So if I then go down here, you've got open new chart. So you can do it from here by clicking on there. You can also open up a new order window. Okay, so there's different ways of creating new order windows. You can right click actually on it and create and click on new order and it opens up a new order window. I'll go into this in more detail later on when we go to symbols and I show you symbols. So I'll go through exactly how to use this panel for creating market orders um, and other stuff. So the other thing you can do by right clicking the mouse is uh, remove it from watch list. And um, what did I want to show? I wanted to show something. Yeah, I have to right click actually on the watch list itself. Now you've got a few options here. You can detach the watch list, which we've done, rename it, duplicate it, delete the watch list, add various symbols, remove, remove various symbols. Now down here, you've got market watch settings. If you click on it, you've got various actions from your mouse that will happen on the market watch. You can view, you can turn daily change on or off. See, it's disappeared on the left. Sometimes it's good not to have too much information in front of your face. Um, you can also single click for open in tile, open symbol tile. So you just single click your mouse and it will actually open up the symbol. I'll show, quickly show you what I mean by that. If I click on there, if I click my mouse now, it doesn't open it if I click it on the actual symbol. So if I turn it on, if I click on a symbol, it expands the view. Okay. The other one you've got is double click. So with a double click on the symbol here, you can open, you can create a new order window. So you can choose one of these options. You can open up a new chart, you can disable it, or you can open up a new detached chart. So I'm going to do new detached chart. I'm now going to do double click on Bitcoin. Uh, yep, I'll do that. And it's opened up a new detached chart for Bitcoin. So this will allow you to configure the platform for your own style of trading of what you want to do when you click on the mouse. The option here also to drag out, what happens when you drag out, it creates a new chart, new detached chart, a new order window. I click on new order window. I've not tried this before. And if I drag it out, it creates a new order window. There you go. And if I change that to um, a new detached chart and I drag it out, it's created a new detached chart. OK, so it's pretty straightforward. You've got those options there. And what I'm going to do now is right click on it again and go to asset units. So asset units allows you to specify for the different groupings of um, symbols if you want it to be displayed as units or lots. Right now it's being displayed as lots um, and you can just turn it off. OK, you can have a default value for the whole lot instead of just um, find a control of adjusting each one. So you can have a mix match. You can have cryptos doing on units and you can have energies on lots. There you go. That's it. That's all I wanted to cover today was um, watch lists. Also, actually, you've got in here one last thing is you can search your watch list by typing in the uh, symbol name in there and you can quickly search for your watch list if you've got a lot of them. The next video I'm just going to cover is all symbol, oops, all symbols and the um, quick trade window and go on from there. So we're going to do a whole lot of videos there. So that's it. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, it helps us create more videos for you. Thank you very much.